a former funeral home is now the site of a tattoo shop and possibly a friendly spirit. All right, Good Day Zone ghost hunter Ashley Williams is live in Auburn with a journey into the unknown to see for herself. And Ashley, are you scared of this kind of stuff or are you into this? <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. I'll be honest. In fact, our lovely ladies here, it's an all-female team of paranormal investigators. They just looked at me. They said, you'll be fine. As a matter of fact, I'm going to dig into my pocket. Tell me your name. Ness. So you actually just gave me this before we, right when we walked in, something to protect myself. What is this? It is a little jar of eggshells, lavender. Uh, some incense, some salt. It's just for protection, really. Awesome. By the way, this is the Valley Spirit Communications. Well, Valley Spirit Communications. We're going to get to them in a second because they're going to actually help us out. But we're going to meet the tattoo, uh, the owner of this tattoo parlor. This is in Auburn, by the way, Crimson Tattoo. Good morning to you, John. Hello, good morning. Hello, hello. Now, Jordan, you mentioned uh, a long time ago, I believe it was 1897, guys, that this was a former funeral parlor. Ooh. And a lot of activity has actually happened here. Now, John, my first question to you was, hey, you think you have a friendly ghost? And your answer was? Oh, most certainly. Uh, there's never been any sort of negative activity that's happened here. Um, we've experienced, like, some footsteps when we know that the building is unoccupied on the floor above us, some footsteps. Um, some stuff just gets knocked off the shelf here and there. Just some kind of lighthearted things. Nothing ever <laughs> malicious happened here. Yeah, and there's, and there's two more stories I want to share with you guys. You told me oftentimes you smell things, like frankincense is one thing you smell. Correct. Because it was a mortuary back a long time ago, this place would have had a pretty, pretty gnarly smell. And so they used frankincense to cover the smell. And some people have come in and say that they catch a whiff of frankincense every now and then. Oh and they say that smells coming across through the spirit realm is a pretty common thing. And so um, we think that maybe maybe a remnant of them coming back. Interesting. Okay, now, Steve, if you could point your camera towards the shelf there. You have um, a dummy there, a dummy doll. Tell me the story you just shared with me, with our viewers. So that's Bobby. Um, and Bobby came to us from an antique show. And he's always kind of had a little bit of a, a mysterious aura around him. And one night we got an alert on our alarm that said that somebody had broken a window. And we came in to see what was happening. And Bobby here had moved about 10 feet across onto the floor and knocked a picture off. And uh, he's the one that actually set the alarm off. There was nobody in here. We checked the cameras and he just MG. went flying. Yeah. And I, and I want to say, guys, this is not made up, which is why we have our paranormal investigators here to help out. Now, tell me your name again. Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Now, Tammy, show, if you could just put that around for me. Um, a little bit later, coming up in the next hour, we're going to walk through and your squad is going to detect or hopefully find the friendly ghost. Tell me just a little bit about what you all do. We look for spirits that might need help. Um, we know spirit exists, so when we investigate, we look for spirits that are stuck. Maybe they just want their story told. So we find them and we help them. Got it. And this is all positive. You know, these all are friendly guys. Never had throughout. anything negative. Never. Got it. Okay, never. so we have all the equipment here. They're going to actually strap a camera to my back. Oh Together my we gosh, will watch actually. through in the next hour. And i got to tell you guys, I was standing here talking with John just off camera. Tammy said, I don't want to freak you out, but there was a spirit on your back. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Not oh. freaked out at all. A little spirit on my <laughs> back. Happy so Halloween. I don't know what any of that means, but we are going to learn a little bit more. And I have to tell you, it is I, I, learning more from these ladies. It's actually very intriguing. And they say, listen, spirits are everywhere. You just get a little freaked out when you start to realize that you could be surrounded by spirits. So coming up, we're going to walk through this uh, former funeral parlor and see what we can find. Okay, that's all fine and good, Ash, but if Bobby jumps off that shelf, I want you to run out of there, okay? <laughs> if, 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 Bobby, if Bobby starts running through the place, you got to go. You got to go. There's Bobby. Look at Bobby. There's Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Bobby is probably already planning something. I have a feeling Bobby is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Wait, did he just move? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jordan. I Jordan think, loves all this. I think Laurie's, Laurie is freaking out yeah, here in the studio. I, I would not be the person oh, look, to, look, to do that. Look. Did you see that? I saw that. Mm -mm. They Jordan. can manipulate energy. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. And they, they're sensing your Halloween yes. vibes. Yes. Again, uh, Valley uh, uh, Spirit Communication. So fun. Ashley, I think she, she may be able to join the team after today. Well, this will be interesting.